morning. I'm currently on my balcony at 5 a.m. So please forgive me if I am being a little bit quiet. I had a very nice sleep. Went to bed at eight. I originally woke up at one and then uh, I was like, nope, Adam, go back to sleep. So I had a very good rest and I'm proud of myself for that. Um, pro tip for you, if you are traveling and you want to get over jet lag, the best way to do it is through light because that's the thing that tells our body um, when we're supposed to be asleep, when we're supposed to be awake. So I've woken up at about 5 a.m. So I'm purposely not turning any lights on inside the room and I'm just opening the curtains to kind of let the natural sunlight come in when it actually comes in. Uh, likewise, if you're traveling east, so if you're going from New York to London, for example, if you crack the curtains a little bit, it will let the natural sunlight come through when it is morning, uh, which even though if you're still asleep, it will still tell your body it's daytime, we are supposed to be asleep, uh, supposed to be awake at this time. Handy tip. I'm going to Disneyland today, I'm very excited. I'm probably gonna start in California Adventure because that's my favorite park. And I'm so excited to go on the Incredicoaster and see picks up here and all the things. The park opens at 8 a.m. this morning. My coffee is currently brewing away. Um, and I've got my breakfast, which I'm about to have. Oats and honey clusters, gluten-free. I'm happy with my cereal choice, very happy. Um, I'm currently just watching some YouTube videos whilst I wait for the sun to rise. Come on. Um, I forgot to mention how blooming comfortable this bed was. Literally snuggling up. I was like, oh, it's because it's a proper duvet. A lot of American hotels, you don't get a duvet. You get like a, um, a sheet with a blanket. Not here. I was properly cuddly. This, these pillows are like the perfect density. So I didn't sink all the way through and like I wasn't completely like upright. And I was just prep. I was very comfortable last night. I slept very, very well. Ready and raring for the day. This is my outfit. I've got a new t-shirt from Hollister, which was on sale. Adam loves a bargain. Uh, my Uniqlo raincoat. It was quite expensive. It was about $120, but it's incredibly good. It li literally lets the raindrops run off you. So that's what it looks like with the hood up. Although I don't really hear Adam. Uh, these chino slash jeans are from Hollister, I think. And I've got my nice Nike comfy shoes on. These aren't gonna be fantastic in the rain because it is meant to be raining for most of the day. But it's California, you're broken. It is not the warmest this morning. Um, when I came out this morning of my room, the la, it was quite nippy. Um, Good thing about this coat though, and the, the, uh, this thing, I'm not sponsored, but if I found something good, I'm gonna tell you about it because you guys go to Disney parks like I do. So it's good to know what's good and what's not good. And through trial and error, I have found a decent raincoat. It's cool in the heat and cozy in the cool. Yeah, that's a nice little slogan. Lunico, you can have that for a fee. So whilst I'm on my way over to the park, I thought I would tell you a little bit about my park tickets. Um, so I think in the winter months, so maybe through to like April, uh, you can get a three, four or five day ticket for a reduced price. Um, it's a special offer Disney do obviously in the off peak season, um, which is when I'm visiting, or in theory it's when I'm visiting, but it might be spring break, but I'm not really sure. We're gonna see how busy the park is today and I'll then determine if it's spring break or not. Um, but basically for me to get five days, it was approximately $400, which is a steal, considering that a one day park ticket, a one park one day ticket is $120. So that's a pretty, pretty good saving. That's about 100 and, if I added park copper, about $200 saved. So not too bad. Um, the park tickets are actually on my phone on the Disneyland app. So a bit like my Disney experience, they're actually linked to my account. So it looks like this. Um, so I scan that and this has also got my fast pass use on it as well. So you can now get something called Max Pass, uh, which is a paid fast pass system. It's $15 per day. Um, but actually with the ticket that I bought, it was included. So another saving for me. So I've timed it pretty well. It's 20 to eight, which gives me 20 minutes to walk down the promenade and through security so hopefully go straight into the park. 
Good morning. Hi, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good, and you are Adam? I am Adam. Let me turn the brightness up for you. I'm in the park. I'm not gonna walk down uh, the street just yet because I have a tendency to cry when I walk into this park. Um, so basically, if you've got a five day ticket, they print out a physical ticket for you. So in case your phone dies. Um, to start using Max Pass, uh, Max Pass, sorry, I'm already going American. Uh, the lovely Teresa who scanned my ticket on the way in said that you have to restart your app. So like close it and reload it. And that's when I can start booking fast passes. Um, Max Pass, so when I went to guest services, they gave me some more information about that. That. Um, it's not actually three tickets you could, it's not three fast passes you can book as soon as you walk in, it's one at a time, but it saves you from walking to the attractions. So, in theory, what I can do is book a fast pass and use that fast pass, and as soon as it's been used, I can then book another one, but I don't have to walk to the attraction. So, it saves me walking around the park, and it also includes all my photos as well. So, if I'm on the attraction, I can scan my ticket, and that includes my photos. And the park is opening, and I'm very excited. Okay, I have restarted the app. We're going to do this together because this is going to be an experience. Okay, so one of the tabs, just like my Disney experience in Disney World, says uh, get fast passes with Disney Max Pass. Going to open that. That's me. Um, if you're with friends, you can link up to them, I believe. I don't know how to do that just yet because it's just me. I'm going to select California Adventure. This is very similar to. Oh, okay, so it goes through the whole list. I'm going to select. Oh, I don't know. I think I might go for either Radiator Springs Racers or Guardians. Uh, I'll do Guardians because that's at 8.50. That means I can get a new Fast Pass in about 50 minutes. Cool. So that's booked. And I think I just scan my ticket when I go through. Here we go. Buena Vista Street. I am... So excited, I am so happy. This is my favorite Disney park in the world. Granted, I haven't been to Asia and everybody raves about Tokyo Disney Sea, but I will go there one day. Right, I'm so happy. Right, fast pass for Guardians at 8.50. I am gonna go straight to Pixar Pier and go on the Incredicoaster because as you all know, if you watched my last California series, California Screaming was my favorite ride and I need to kind of get to the bottom of, is this ride better than California Screaming? Is it still as good? Is it better? Things we need to do. It's also Food and Wine Festival here in California. So many things, so many things to do, so many things to be excited about and I just, I'm gonna cry. Okay, so as it's extra magic hour at the moment, they're holding normal day guests at the different points. So you can't walk in just yet, but Most people seem to be gravitating towards Cars Land to go and get on Radiator Springs. Um, I am not fussed about getting a fast pass Radiator Springs this morning because I can actually use a single rider there, but I can't do that on Guardians. Uh, uh, right, this used to be Paradise Pier, it is now Pixar Pier, and this is my first time experiencing it, so I need to get on the Creator Coaster, it's the main thing. You might not be able to tell on the camera, but Mickey's fun wheel's been refurbished since I was last here. So it looks adorable. <gasps> the thing Ratatouille. The, the, the. I've got a reservation for here, the Lamplight Lounge. That's adorable. That's a. I think it's either the original Pixar short or it's one off. No, the first one was a weird baby. One of. Um, this used to be Cove Bar, I think? But I think it's now something new. I don't see a sign. Or it's something, or it's nothing at the moment. I don't know. Okay, that, 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 that's cool. Alas, 
of girls over there meeting people. Um, and they do have a single rider line, which is great. Um, it's actually, I think, where the old single rider line used to be. It's where this little Pixar umbrella is on the way in. Um, I was also chatting to the guy at the front about Max Pass, and he was saying you can hold more than one Fast Pass at a time, um, but you have to of like the there's a Fast Pass time of when you can get a new Fast Pass on the Fast Pass, or it's like the time that begins. I'm gonna play around with it today, and I'll let you know how it goes. So I got given a single rider card, and I'm gonna take the elevator up and over to the main station. Did I do it twice? Of course I did it twice. Um, to get your photos from the traction onto your MaxPass account, uh, you have to type the code in from the photo into the app. But the cast member at the front told me that you have to wait a good couple of minutes until you can actually enter that code. So for that reason, I've just taken a picture of it on my phone and I'll enter it all later. So if you didn't see it on the right, they actually have like a running effect down here in the water uh, to make it look like uh, Jack, no, not Jack Jack. Dash is running alongside you, which is really cool. You can see it on the right, but you can't really appreciate it on camera because it's going a little bit fast. Conclusion, as good as, if not better, than California Screaming. It's basically the same ride, so <laughs> it's not a problem. It's just the music that's different. I'm currently down by the track just to watch it for a little bit. Um, I don't really want to wear myself out too much today. So I'm not going to be doing like I normally do, which is go whichever way in the park I want to do. I kind of want to do each bit one at a time. <coughs> so at 8.50 I'm going to see if I can book another fast pass before I go on Guardians. Or is that risky? Should I go on Guardians and then book another one? I don't really know how this is going to work. I'm playing everything by ear. Gotta say, I love that poster. And Gary, if you're watching, Becky! Oh, Coco, I love Coco. Let's pop in Nick Max and have a look what they've got. Oh, I got Toy Story, Incredibles. I mean, what was I expecting? This is the Pixar Pin shop. It will be bold, dramatic. 
I love Edna, and that's one of the things I really loved about that ride, was hearing Edna modes throughout it. Up's not like one of my favourite films, but I just love the aesthetic of like the colourful balloons and everything. So cute! Oh my god, they're adorable. I'm just like, I want to do this, I want to do this, I can do that, oh I don't know, la 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 la. So please forgive me and my excitable self, but I'm very excited and I'm very very happy to be here and I'm the luckiest person in the world and I am this lucky because of you lovely people and I can't thank you all enough for watching my ugly face and just like any purchase in the shop, any like on a video, any like on my Instagram, any follow, any subscription. You all come together to make my life possible and I wouldn't be here without you and I can't thank you enough because this is the view that I get on a Wednesday morning. I'm very grateful. This is the end of Cars Land now. That used to be Bugs Life Land. But I do believe there's a Marvel area coming. I think it's Tony Stark branded on one side. I've seen pictures of like coming soon by Tony Stark or something like that. I'm gonna walk the other way now. Possibly the cutest ride Disney has ever made. I'm walking through the Cozy Cone Motel which is a great place to get churros but I do not believe it is open just yet. Okay, so we've got to the bottom of it. It says, important information, this party can make a new fast pass selection at 8.50 a.m., uh, which is that time there. Obviously, if it's gonna be a little bit later because the fast pass time is a little bit longer, that, that time's gonna change. Um, so in theory, I can make a new fast pass now. So I'm going to go back into the creator fast pass and see what we can get. Okay, credit coaster 905. Radiant Springs, Soaring Around the World, Toy Story Mania. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I'll tell you what, let's go for Radiator Springs at 2.45. And then, I think, once I've got that, I can check on it. I can make a new fast pass at 10.26. That's pretty good, that's not long. So it's 9 a.m. right now. If I had just a normal park ticket, and I was going to get that fast pass uh, for 2.45, I wouldn't be able to get a new fast pass for two hours from the time that I got it. But because I'm on max pass, they give you 90 minutes, pretty big saving of time, like you got at least half an hour extra time. And when you're booking different fast passes and the fast passes go pretty quickly in the morning, it's a benefit. This is the Hyperion Theater. This is where Aladdin used to be. It's currently frozen by the Hyperion. The last time I came here to actually see this show, there was a show stop halfway through, which meant they couldn't continue with the show. So I've only seen the first half. So I might try and see the rest of the show another time uh, on this trip. Uh, what I did see, I wasn't amazed by, because I think the singers we had the time I went to see it weren't the best. Hopefully that won't be the case this time. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. It used to be Tower of Terror, as you could probably see from the form in front of you, but having been on this, I actually prefer it to Tower of Terror. If you haven't done it yet, don't judge it, because it, it's, it's an excellent utilisation of the space, and it's more than just like a layover, which most people were expecting. So to use my fast pass, I'm gonna go ahead and redeem fast pass, which brings up that lovely barcode, and then I'll go and scan. Fun fact for you, if you look up there in that little box, if I zoom in for you, you might be able to spot a certain figment of imagination in there. One of the collector's prized possessions, I guess.
And presto, the doors open for you. I now present to you Tanelia Tobon's private office. My friend, you're one step closer to your exciting encounter with the Guardians of the Galaxy. You are now standing in my private office. I know. Right, carefully scrutinized. Each and every beast that comes to me from different parts of the galaxy that I can let's you this guy. Hearing his incessant blathering on a constant loop was big motivation for me to escape. I go, ouch! Ow! That was not part of the plan! Why? Of course I escaped! For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket, one of the guardians of the galaxy. The smart one. I don't have clearance. My hands don't scan. Yours do. If you raise your hands, I get the clearance and the chaos begins. <laughs> it's a foolproof plan. Instead of like Tower of Terror's like build the suspense type of thing, it just starts. Like uh, Rocket plugs in uh, the music instead of the soundtrack to um, like the museum tour that you would normally get, and then you're just gone. And there's a lot of a lot of dropping, a lot of speeding up. I love going up fast. That's like my fave. Yeah, it's just so good. It's so so good. <sighs> right now, I've got. A little bit of time until I have to get a new fast pass or do anything, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. <gasps> That's so cool! You can meet Captain Marvel! If you haven't seen that film, go and see it. It's amazing. It's probably not in cinemas by the time that this goes out on YouTube, but it's really good! I love that film. So I'm going on Mike and Sully's adventure michael and sully's something or other i actually asked at the front i was like oh do you have a single rider line and she gave me this which is a buddy pass um looks like someone's actually chewed this one but it says uh this pass does not guarantee immediate boarding buddy pass guests may immediately basically oh this pass allows two guests to enter through the buddy pass queue so this is me so this saved me five minutes hi Keep all hands be inside the vehicle all time secret. I will supervise myself. <laughs> Alright, everybody, bags and backpacks off. It's gonna be a lot easier to get seated, please. What? Unless you don't have a backpack on. Come on in. If you are new to the area, the Monstropolis Chamber of Commerce would like to welcome you. While you're in town, be sure to We interrupt this program for a special report. A child is on the loose in Monstropolis. A human child! If witnesses are to be believed, there has been a child security breach for the first time in monster history. We can neither confirm nor deny the presence of a human child here tonight. I tried to run from it, but it picked me up with its mind powers. It shook, shook me like, like a dog. dog. It's true! I saw the whole thing! That's my favorite line in the entire Happy film. Happy birthday, Schmozy Oh, googly bears! There's a kid here! A human kid! A human kid! Smell the ginger! Sweet monster in the sky, sir! My home is Alspie! And on my birthday, I thought you cared about me! Celia, 
trying to understand. Come on, this way. This ride is so cute. Buddy Pass. It's been around for a bit. It goes away and comes back on occasion. Uh, a cast member on the attraction was telling me that some people like duplicate it and take advantage of it, so then they have to take it away. Um, but I'm just going to ask like what attractions it's on. So bear with me. It's only available on Mike and Sully. Save the day. I don't know. Uh, and Toy Story Mania at the moment. It started on Mike and Sully, and then Toy Story also adopted it. Basically, if you're in a party of two or less. Uh, you can use it to get on the attraction a lot quicker. I mean, I saved like a 20 minute wait doing that, so that was well worth it. Um, now I'm going to pop into my favourite single place in the world, which is the Animation Hall. This is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, when I have a wedding, I would like to have my wedding reception in here because apparently you can do that with Disney weddings. I've got to find someone to get married to first, but that's the plan! Where you can meet Anna and Elsa in Disneyland Resort. Uh, I'm actually going to head to the Sorcerer's Workshop because I'm imagining it's going to be quite quiet this time of the morning. Is it Ratatouille? It's Ratatouille. I'm not going to Sorcerer's Workshop. I've got to watch this. day just sat in there soaking up the magic because it's like classic Disney animation with classic Disney songs and it's just uh, I think it's like an hour or more loop and I love it so much that Ratatouille one was like oh, hit me in the gut but right now we're in the Sorcerer's Workshop and it is dead yes and this is where you can have a go at your own animation This is where you can find out what Disney character you are. So, let me go here. It's hello, a pillow, ha ha. Simply line up your face inside the oven, if you please. Three, two, one.
cool. <laughs> if you love Beauty and the Beast or you just love Disney magic, this is the place to be and I highly recommend coming first thing in the morning if you want it to be nice and quiet. Hi, stop! Let's go! Animation Academy is taking guests, so I'm gonna head in and draw a Disney character. to the Animation Academy. My name is Josh. I'm a Disney artist here and I'm going to teach you guys how to draw one of our classic Disney characters. Now on your way in, you all met my friend Katie. Everybody say good morning, Katie. Good morning, Katie. Katie's also a Disney artist here and she's here to help out during the class. So if your paper rips or your pencil breaks, just raise your hand and Katie can help you out. But keep in mind that this is not a full class, so you're more than welcome to pencil swap with a board near you or help yourself to more paper. Uh, now we're drawing a character who's actually been in more Disney cartoons than any other character. For a while he was the most popular character. Any guesses? You can shout out. Donald Duck, are we fans of Donald Duck? Yeah? Awesome. Yeah, that's okay, because right now we only have the duck bill, and that's like the hardest part of drawing Donald Duck, I feel. So uh, once we add in the eyes, usually people start to feel a little bit better about their drawings. So that's what we're up to next. Uh, just make sure you're caught up to this point, because we're not really going to retrace our steps. We're going to be moving forward. In the end, how did we do? Mm. Okay, so we're consistent. We did that throughout. Uh, did we have happy. fun? Yeah. yeah. All right. This is going to be copyrighted, so I'm just going to keep gently talking to you about how magical my class was and how proud I am of my dark Donald Duck sketch. Love it. Now here off the page, it's an art shop and it's honestly one of my favourite places in the world. It's, they've just got such good art and merchandise and this is where I got a lot of my uh, Disneyland 60th anniversary stuff. So I had a lot of limited edition stuff in here. Oh, look at that Winnie the Pooh one, that's so cute. Two extra bonuses about Max Passes. Uh, you can actually cancel Fast Passes. So I made one for Soaring Around the World and uh, realized I don't really need a Fast Pass for Soaring Around the World. And you can actually make Fast Passes in the opposite park as well. So I'm looking at the ones in uh, Disneyland, the park, and they seem to be pretty, pretty good. So I think I'm gonna head over there. Disneyland opened in 1955 by Walt Disney. That gives me the feels. Oh no, did, did I just book a tour? Oops. Um, I booked a tour for Friday morning uh, because I currently have no plans. So I'm going to be doing the Walking in Walt's Footsteps tour, which starts at uh, 9.30, so I need to be there at 9.15am. Uh, and it includes a two and a half hour walking tour, which includes lunch and a peek inside Walt's apartment, which is above the fire station. Oh, that's fantastic.
romantic. Love it. you know just strolling through that's what the good thing about Disneyland is the characters are out and about a little bit more like just going around a little bit more it's not as regimented as it is in Disney World for like obviously for safety reasons they have to be a little bit more careful with the characters in Disney World there's so many people you're just strolling through the little, the little wagons going through and it's just uh, Disneyland I love Main Street in California. I love it. And they haven't got Casey's Corner here. They've got uh, the Corner Cafe and Refreshment Corner. And uh, Sleeping Beauty's Castle is currently not visible right now. Uh, they have like a tapestry up in front of it which shows you the castle, but uh, it is currently undergoing some renovations. Um, if you've ever wondered why they have a Sleeping Beauty Castle in California and a Sleeping Beauty Castle in Paris, that's because this is Sleeping Beauty's parents' castle. So this is the one that she grew up in as a kid. And then when her and lovely Prince Philip moved out, they actually built the one in France. So in case you weren't aware, that's why. I am loving this live music. This is the best. This is the thing about Disneyland, is that it's a completely different culture to Disney World. You don't have seven photographers down the middle. You don't have everyone and their dogs stopping to take pictures because this is ma majorly a local park. Like most people that are coming here have been here before or are coming here on a regular basis. So not everyone's like stopping to take pictures and I don't know, it's just, there's a certain air about this place and it feels so magical and wonderful and I love it so so much. Anyway, it's a small world time and I need to make sure that this trip I do the Alice in Wonderland attraction because I have never done it and I saw it in my uh, friend Jillian's Disneyland vlogs. So I'll actually link her below if you want to check hers out. Um, and I've never done it, I need to do it. I'm currently holding three fast passes. Uh, it's just gone 11.12, which was the time that I could book a new fast pass. Um, so I've currently got It's a Small World, which I can use now. I've got Matterhorn at two, Radiator Springs at 2.45. Um, and I'll see if I could get any more on top of that. This, in theory, would tell me that I can get a new fast pass at 12.44. So at 12.44, we'll be able to see. Although I guess I would have used one with it. I don't know, we're playing it all by ear, all by ear. But at least you can hold three, that's good. That's the Matterhorn. Uh, fun fact about the Matterhorn, it's actually the first steel tubular roller coaster ever designed in the world. So uh, the design of having it um, with three wheels around the tubular track is brand new to Disney. The Imagineers came up with that one. Normally it would be like a wooden roller coaster type thing where you've got one wheel on top, one wheel on the bottom, and then one wheel in the centre of the track. But these kind of like go around the outside. I know this is really geeky and really dorky, but I love roller coasters. The Fancyland Theatre is just back there, which is where they do Mickey and the Magical Mat. And it's possibly one of my favourite Disney Park shows. Um, that's on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And I've put the Walking in Waltz Footsteps tour for Friday, so I'll probably do that in the afternoon. Now, it's a small world. So to redeem a fast pass, all you have to do is click on redeem fast pass. Hello. Thanks. And away you go. Welcome to It's a Small World. Your safety always remains seated throughout your voyage, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And please watch your children. Thank you.
since I had a pretty early start and I haven't eaten much today, um, funnily enough that oats and honey cereal that I got filled, like kept me going until like now, which is nearly 12. Um, I asked the security guard, I think her name was Marsha, and she recommended a place called the Plaza Inn, uh, which is in the hub. She said it was like buffet style, so I'm actually going to go there on her recommendations. Uh, she also recommended Stage Door, which is like a quick service hot dog place, but I kind of fancy a little bit more substantial right now. I don't know what I'm doing for dinner yet, so a nice big meal would be good, and it means that I can take some, take some time out, upload my Insta stories, check on the world, you know, do the things I'm, I'm supposed to do, <laughs> instead of just running around Disneyland like a little kid. This looks like the place. So you pick up a tray, go to whichever station you want to get the food at. Uh, so we've got chicken over there, pasta, I'm guessing pot roast is over here somewhere. And then you can pick up- <gasps> They have carrot cake. They have carrot cake. This is such a beautiful, beautiful dining location. I was going to get the pot roast, but then uh, I messaged AJ at Disney Food Blog being like, where's good? And uh, she suggested uh, table service Cafe Orleans, uh, counter service Plaza Inn fried chicken. So AJ, this is for you. I was going to get the pot roast, but I'm, I'm doing the chicken now. <laughs> AJ says don't get swayed by the pot roast. In capital letters, don't do it. So <laughs> she messaged at the right time. Thank you, AJ. And I can't resist a carrot cake. Carrot cake is my absolute favourite thing in the world. And then you help yourself to your fountain beverage. This is cool, I like this setup. It's very cool. Decent size as well. Paper straws! Yes, yeah, save the planet. This is such a beautiful place to have lunch. Look out onto Main Street. And the detail of this place is just insane. Like chandeliers and everything. So cool. It's really good. If you're not a massive fan of chicken on the bone, it's a little bit fiddly. However, it's worth it. It's so tasty. I, 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 I powered through. Uh, I'm so full though. It's time. One dimension it is. Sweet. Plaza Inn was delicious and I am very full. That carrot cake was really quite something and oh, the chicken, all oh, that chicken, apart from the being on the bone. Fantastic meal. Uh, I'm heading around to Storybook Sir. Uh, no, Storybook Circus. Where am I? Um, Storybook Canal Boats, I think. I've never done it before, and it's a 15 minute wait at the moment, which is a relatively short wait for the park at the moment. Nope. Uh, most things are about an hour, like for the big rides, so little rides is until my fast pass comes up for Warner Mansion, I think. One of the best things about being a party of one is you tend to skip like the last bit of the line. And then, sir, I'm going to have you right here. Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, and then if we can just have backpacks, backpacks off for us, thank you so much. Go ahead and so place much. them on your lap or on the floor. Yay. It looks like we're being swallowed by a monster in the wild. Yeah. The same whale that swallowed not only Pinocchio, but his father, Geppetto. But no worries, friends, we're actually being transported to a magical place called Storybook Land. This is where Alice chased the white rabbit down his rabbit hole. Down, 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 into a wonderland. Where things only got curious and curious and bad. 
and on the opposite side is London Park, the same city where Princess Jasmine and Aladdin for the first time. Aladdin stole not only an apple from the marketplace, but Jasmine's heart. The city of Arundel was in deep, deep snow because of Elsa's biological powers. But thanks to Anna's love and dedication, she was able to end winter and bring back summer. That was adorable. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm now going to walk through Fantasyland to make my way to Autumn Mansion, as that's coming up now. I just, I love it here so much. It's so cute and lovely. Before I came on this trip, I checked the weather and it was meant to be like 26, 28 degrees and it's all changed. It's now like 18, 19 every day and uh, whilst it's not cold, it's not warm in the shade. Um, so I may end up bringing my hoodie in or I might treat myself to like a spirit jersey or something. Just something to take the chill off my arms. Coming from Fantasyland and through into Big Thunder Mountain, I have just come across this new path with this boarded up wet like pathway. Um, also a little abandoned carriage which is quite cool. Uh, this looks like where you'll be traveling to go to a galaxy far far away. Ooh. Now in Disneyland it opens in June. In Disney World it opens at the end of August, August 29th. Um, I am planning on going to the one in Walt Disney World like an idiot because it's probably going to be incredibly busy but you know it's kind of my job so <laughs> A little bit further around, this looks like the second entrance to Star Wars Land. Although it looks like they're probably going to end up doing it as in like a one-way system. So when it first opens, I think they're going to have a ticketed system in Disneyland. Uh, so you're actually going to have to like book on to go into Star Wars Land. Uh, I don't think they're going to do the same process in Disney World. I think it's just going to be a, not a free-for-all, but like it's not going to be as strict as it is here because these parks are a lot smaller, the parking lots are very limited in what they can hold. Uh, whilst in Disney World they've got three other parks to send people to and plenty of parking at all four theme parks, uh, as well as Disney Springs and all that, all that fun stuff. So I'm hoping that when I do go to the one in Walt Disney World it won't be too bad and all the attractions will be open, but who's to say? I love that tree. It's a nice tree. Fun facts with Adam. Nice tree. Oh my god, it's Pirates of the Caribbean! I love Pirates of the Caribbean here. This is probably my favourite Pirates of the Caribbean. And it's only a 30 minute wait as well, so I might hop on Water Mansion, then go on Pirates of the Caribbean. But I desperately need to pee. And I don't know where any of the restrooms are in Disneyland, so. I asked the cast member and she told me to go through this way, get to the blue umbrellas and keep going around to the left. Good to see you Blackbeard. Where are you travelling from? Blackbeard. Well, here I am. <laughs> yes. Where are you travelling from? I'm travelling from London. Are you? Yes. I wasn't sure, I couldn't hear it at first. <laughs> Marvellous. You have, hopefully you haven't stolen our tea. Oh no, I do love tea. Yes, love yes. Tea. But I would never steal it. Milk first or sugar first? You know, I, I don't like milk. I don't like milk, so no. it's just sugar, just, plain exactly. black tea. Keep it plain, simple. Yes, I like that's it. it. That's the way to do it. That's a pirate way, you know. It is a pirate. You don't see. It's just a little. It's just a luxury, you know. It's a bit yeah. extra. I'll see you around. Say, say, maybe we'll have a cup of tea soon. Maybe. <laughs> that was cool. Like I read the character around. That was so cool. Oh my god. Honestly, meeting Red. I was a little bit starstruck. I was just like, I muddled my words quite a few times. Um, that is the coolest thing ever. I didn't even know that they had that here. Like, well, had her here. That's so cool. Children everywhere, children everywhere, children everywhere. It's really cool. It's in uh, one of the stores in Frontierland. On the left hand side as you're coming into the land. That's me. This is adorable. How much are you? How much are you? Tell me. Tell me all your secrets. How much are you? I don't know. Oh, it's so nice. When do you ever see Home on the Range in Disney parks? 
unlike Disney World, they don't actually have like a pickup service, so you can't send stuff to the front of the park to pick up later, but you can store it in certain locations. And the lovely cast member gave me a uh, piece of paper that has them on. So those are the locations where you can store stuff uh, in case. There's only one in California Adventure, which is the bottom one, Elias and Co. But uh, yeah, so options. Just as I was about to scan my fast pass for the Haunted Mansion, unfortunately, uh, the ghosts took over to the point where the ride shut down. So, I won't be going on that at another stage. I'm gonna head round to the Matterhorn. Um, I don't actually know what happens if your fast pass is valid, but the attraction goes down. Hmm. Either I'm going to find out, or one of you is going to tell me. Walking past uh, the entrance to Indiana Jones, they had a few cast members out there informing guests that the attraction isn't open today. Um, and I asked them, I was like, what happens if you get a fast pass for something and the ride goes down? Uh, and they said it's like a multi-experience thing in Walt Disney World where um, it'll actually uh, come up with the options that you can go on and it's meant to be any fast pass attraction in the park, which is pretty good. Um, he said keep refreshing it, it's normally like five or ten minutes after the fact that it goes down that you'll actually get that information so I'm not going to use that fast pass we'll see what happens I just saw a proposal literally next to me I was like someone's someone's being very excited in their voice and then I was like oh, it's a proposal um, obviously there aren't that many proposals or pictures being taken because the castle looks like this but you know still cute that looks really quite scary I love it I'm loving this Mickey Mouse skin on the monorail cute So it took about 10-15 minutes, but my Haunted Mansion Fast Pass has now turned into a multiple experience one, which means I can also use it on Space Mountain. So what would have been a impossible Fast Pass for me to get today, I can now go on Space Mountain with a Fast Pass. Thank you Haunted Mansion. Hello. I'm in the room. It's later in the day. Uh, I left you going on the Matterhorn when my battery died. And that shouldn't be a problem because I'm a professional vlogger who carries four batteries with him. However, those extra batteries are completely useless when you don't charge them. I'm an idiot. <sighs> so, let me bring you up to speed. I am back in the hotel room. It is approximately 6.30ish, something like that. Uh, I'm dealing with this beautiful view of the California and Anaheim landscape. Love it. Um, uh, when I left you, I went on Space Mountain and what else did I do? I think I went to California Adventure then. I had a fast pass for Radiator Springs Races, but then that was down by the time that I got over there. So I went to go and see Frozen live at the Hyperion. I made it through the entire show. No show stops. Loved that. The singers were good and I liked it. It was good. I would probably see it again. Probably not on this trip, but I would see it again and I'd recommend it to people. And then it started raining. So uh, there's actually a small clip from it raining as well. So here's a clip. And it was at that point I decided, do you know what? It's getting towards six o'clock. I need to have a little rest. Like it's currently three or four a.m. back home. And it's it's okay for me to take some time, especially on the first day, to chill out. I don't want to push myself too much, but I did a very good job. Uh, the fact that I made it to uh, past 5 p.m., considering that I woke up at 4 a.m., and got into the park for opening. I've done pretty good. I'm proud of myself. So what I am gonna do this evening is probably go for dinner somewhere. I have noticed that there is a Blaze Pizza just around the corner. And if you've watched my Walt Disney World Disney Springs vlogs, you'll know how much I love my Blaze Pizza. It's just gone half seven. The camera battery has got enough battery in to probably last uh, at least another hour or two of doing stuff. Um, and because I've got these two multiple experience fast passes, I really didn't want to waste them because that's a ride on cars 
and the Incredicoaster or Cars and Guardians, basically. <laughs> I'm back in California Winter. My plan is to go to the Incredicoaster. Someone told me on Twitter, and I can't remember the name, I'm very sorry, uh, that it is amazing at night, and it actually closes a little bit before the park closes because they prepare for water color that side. So I'm gonna do that first to make sure I've done it. Head back to Cars Land and ride that. And then if I've got time, I will try and do something else, but chances are, those two things will probably take up the next hour. through my Twitter mentions, it was Sarah D who, in, who uh, recommended going on it in the night, so thanks Sarah, because I probably wouldn't have necessarily come over to the back of the park to just go on one ride and then go back into the rest of the park, so it was really cool. I think it's actually scarier at night, <laughs> and it feels a lot faster at the back, because the last two times I went on it, I was towards the front. Um, like, you get pulled over some of those hills, and I'm here for it. I didn't notice earlier that the lamp moves. It's so cute. The fireworks in Disneyland Park run at 9.30. Uh, World of Colours on at 10pm this evening, which is quite late. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to last long enough to go and see the fireworks in Disneyland. I am already starting to head towards feeling tired and I want to make sure I've got enough energy to walk back to the hotel fine because it's still like a 15-20 minute walk. Um, so what I'm going to do, go on Radio Springs races and then depending on the adrenaline I have coming off that I may or may not go back over to the main park to see the fireworks or I can go back to my hotel and watch them from my room because I can do that. Oh, the way the moon's hitting this scene. Yes. Yes, nature. Yes. Not only is the rock work hella fly, you also get these beautiful neon lights around the land. Oh, they're just so pretty. Thank you. Thanks.
stuck on Radio Springs for about 15, 20 minutes. It is now 10 past nine. And part of me is like, it's 20 minutes Adam until the fireworks launch. Just go and watch them. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm not gonna like go all the way into the park to watch them. I'm probably just gonna like go into the back and just watch them from the back. Uh, just in case I don't get the chance to see them another night. I might as well. I have yawned a good five times in the last three minutes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna make it. <laughs> It is 20 past nine, as you can see, my hair is describing how tired I am right now. Um, it's 10 minutes until the fireworks launch off. It's called Mickey's Magic Mix, or let me pull up the real name because I don't want to get this wrong because then the people who know Disney, Mickey's Mix Magic with Fireworks. That is the name of the show. Um, I do believe they use the map projection on the buildings on Main Street, so I'm just gonna stop on Main Street and it doesn't seem too busy, which is nice. This is 10 minutes before showtime on a pretty busy day, and it looks pretty easy to navigate.
I want to see that again. I'm very glad I stayed now. And the tune is incredibly catchy. Come on everybody, put your ears on. It's a good, 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 good time. It's literally on loop in my head. I liked it. Okay, I liked it a lot. It was good. Oh no, I've ended up at Blaze Pizza. How terrible and awful this may be for me. As far as life decisions go, this is a good one. A real good one. It's time for the big reveal of Adam's Place Pizza. Oh my god, it looks so good. <sighs> it has been a day. A day and a half. I am really proud of myself for uh, having made it this far. I'm just gonna treat myself to a Coke Zero. Um, it's coming up to 10 o'clock and I'm still going. So, well done me. I am actually quite, this is quite an achievement for me because normally I'd be like, oh, I'm tired, I don't wanna go. But uh, at the same time, I have been so happy today. Like, I can't really explain just how much I've enjoyed today. And that has been the major factor in me kind of being like, no, do you know what? I want to get on the time zone. I want to be in the park. I want to see the fireworks and yeah, it's 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 been a really. Do I just go American there? It's been a really good day, and I'm looking forward to eating my pizza and going to bed. So, without further ado, uh, if you would like to check out uh, my unofficial guide to Walt Disney World, it is a book I've written. I know if you're a regular, you've seen this before, but if you're not a regular, this is my book. I worked very hard on it and. If you'd like to get a copy, there's a link below. Likewise, there's a link to my shop. <sighs> like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see all my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.